How you going Cairns crew? Percy here from ProLift Training, FNQ. Got a short video here on how to do a pre-start on a dozer. So uh, first things first, just checking our work area, out for any hazards, uh, a bit of sun, a bit of wind. Uh, looks like we're getting a cyclone soon, Jasper. Uh, we got some trees, people, vehicles, uh, ground conditions. So we'll keep an eye on our ground, make sure people stay well away and we'll use positive communication. Got some signage out the front, um, keys for the machine. And uh, first things first, let's check out this logbook, eh? Uh, looking for the right logbook for the machine. Got a data plate just here as well. 992 is our uh, serial number, 992. Has it had a pre-start recently? Yes, a couple of days ago. Uh, right hand track was a bit slack. We'll keep an eye out for that. And it's recently had a service. Right, we'll fill this one out after we test everything. Uh, got an isolator on the machine. So I'll check to make sure it's isolated. I'll hop up in the cab and um, we will test for dead. Machine is isolated. Uh, whenever we access our machine, three points of contact facing the machine. Same deal when we come back down. One, two, three. Pop up in the cab. Key in ignition. Hydraulic locks aren't activated. Beautiful. And we're dead. I'll bring that key with me. Popping out in reverse, three points of contact facing the machine. And um, we'll start from the rear left hand corner. So as we go around, we're looking for um, fluids, <coughs> leaks, and damage. So we've got our rippers at the back here, got our tines, pins, retainers, lift cylinder, hydraulic hoses, tow hitch point, all look in good condition. Um, we've got our uh, ROPS data plate up the back. Uh, ROPS look like they're in good condition. We've got a light out the back. Um, we've got diesel fill point. Controls are in good condition. Uh, we've got our tracks. So our grouser bolts, our grouser plate. We've got our carry rollers, our chain, our sprockets, our drives, our chain guide, our rock guards in here, and our load rollers underneath. Our front idle roller, uh, all looks in good condition. Got a little bit of product still here from recently. Uh, lifting cylinders, pins and retainers, hydraulic lines, all look in good condition. Our access, um, exhaust, and uh, we'll just hop up on top here and we will uh, check some of our fluids. Radio, um, just three points of contact when you climb up onto the machine. Rightio, under our bonnet, um, we've got overflow for our radiator, we've got our engine oil dipstick down here, give that one a double dip, And it's nice and full. Um, engine oil fill point cap is in good condition. We got oil filters, we got air filter, uh, we got a fan and blades, alternator, exhaust, fuel lines, water lines. All good. Uh, as we come down, three points of contact. Um, we'll keep coming around the machine. We've got our angle cylinders. We've got our safety covers here. Um, we've got our A-frame here. We've got our yoke there as well. Um, our linkage is in good condition. Pins and retainers are okay. Uh, there's no oil on the ground. Inside the tracks from this side looks okay. Um, we can check out our blade as well. Our wear blade on the bottom is in good condition. No loose bolts. Uh, lights as we come around, cooler's okay. A 
Blades in good condition. We've got our angle cylinders here. Uh, pins and retainers are in. No leaks, no damage. Um, access is okay. Uh, we've got our covers for a quick look inside our engine compartment. And uh, we've got our track just here. A little bit loose, that track. And so we can go back to the operator's manual, get out our straight edge and measure that variance. Right here in the distance. Uh, front roller, chain guide, carry roller. Uh, we've got our sprockets down the back here. Load rollers, chain guide, grousers, grouser bolts, all look in good condition. Pins and retainers, our ROPs are okay. Controls are okay. Fire extinguisher, the tag is within the last six months. It's secure and the pressure is in green. As you come around the back of the machine there, just having a look underneath, no oil coming off those drives. And our pins and retainers for our ripper, our lift cylinder, hydraulic hoses are okay. And uh, we're back around to where we started. Right here, it looks like we're ready to um, test our machine. Three points of contact, up in our machine. Key and ignition. Check that seatbelt out. Seatbelt is secure and in good nick. Before I put that seatbelt on, I'm gonna check that transmission oil. Level is okay. Righty -o. Um, we're gonna need to Pull up our hydraulic locks. I can get my seat nice and comfy. Rightio. It's going to get a bit noisy. Kick him in the guts. Make sure you turn your uh, battery isolator off. And um, we'll kick that machine in the guts. Control locks. And um, we'll test some functions. Blade. Angle. Get a few revs going. Rightio, rippers out the back. Revs are working. Water temp, fuel, engine hours. Uh, brake, decelerator, reverse, shoulder checks. down, rippers down, make sure you uh, take it out of gear, put your park brake on, and uh, shut your machine down. Righto, when you're finished with your machine, make sure it's parked up on firm flat level ground. Three points of contact facing the machine. You'll be able to fill that pre-start logbook out. Whenever you're finished with your machine, make sure you do a full walk around, looking for any damage, any defects, any leaks before you uh, hand the keys over. See you later.
Sei lá.